Washington, D.C., January 25th, 2015. At approximately 3 a.m. local time, an unidentified aircraft quietly flies past the perimeter fence surrounding the White House and makes its way undetected towards the executive residence. Secret Service agents immediately swarm the area with guns drawn, only to discover no assassin, but instead, a consumer drone. The idea that a recreational operator crashed a drone on the grounds creates the possibility that if someone were intentionally flying a drone on the grounds, they might have been able to get it into the mansion and potentially attack someone inside, if not the president themselves. It's an extremely challenging problem for the Secret Service. Foreign flying objects entering into airspace that are unidentified, those are some of the highest threats you would see because there's so much unknown. The unauthorized drone's foray onto White House grounds was certainly a wake-up call that more needed to be done to protect against serious breaches of security. The airspace security program that's put forth by the Secret Service is classified. What I can say is that the airspace over the White House is highly restrictive. It's a collaboration between the military, the FAA, and the Secret Service. The White House's defenses against an intentional attack through the airspace actually start with a very large standoff zone. There's restricted airspace around the White House in all directions, and anything that flies into that zone, we scramble either Coast Guard helicopters or Air Force jets or both to intercept that aircraft and to warn them off away from the area. If they continue approaching, the Air Force is authorized to shoot down targets over the capital region and risk collateral damage on the ground. The Secret Service has a lot of technologies available to them. There's a whole industry out there for counter UAS technologies, uh, counter unmanned aircraft systems. For decades, the technology that the military has been working on has been high energy lasers. It's a great way to shoot things down because it moves at the speed of light and it's very powerful. We've seen an Avenger system deployed on top of the White House equipped with Stinger missiles. This would give protective forces at the White House the ability to strike down a target from over three kilometers away from the launching station. Despite constantly reviewing and updating its aviation protocols, many security experts believe that the Secret Service must act much more decisively in order to protect the president at the White House right now. Because what many would consider to be futuristic kinds of threats are already here. The 21st century has already seen a lot of technologies mature to the point where they can become an increased threat. There's a rising threat from what are called micro drones. Someone could take uh, cheap drones off the shelf, give them a pre-programmed mission, and then attempt to use them to attack the president with anything from a hand grenade up to a thermite grenade or a larger payload. Threats never remain at rest. They're constantly evolving, and we are seeing AI technology, machine learning, combined with platforms such as drones and other types of autonomous vehicles. That over-the-horizon threat that can be pre-programmed, that doesn't necessarily need an operator, represents the next wave of threat that the Secret Service has to prepare for.